Welcome back to the channel. This video is one that I've been looking forward to making and we're going to be talking about the differences between the Nord Stage 3 and the Nord Stage 4. Now I've had the Nord Stage 3 for a few years. I've got a ton of videos on my channel about it. I'm starting to put videos out on the Nord Stage 4 but I thought it was probably worth taking a little time and talking about the differences between these two keyboards. If you already have the Nord Stage 3 you're wondering is it time to upgrade? Is the Nord Stage 4 a worthy contender to upgrade to? Or if you don't have either of these and you're looking at the discounted Nord Stage 3s that are out there now, you can get those for a really good price. And I'll tell you right now, still an extremely solid keyboard, especially if you're playing live. This is an amazing keyboard for live use. Um, the Nord Stage 4, obviously, they've added even more power to it. And for me, I am really glad that I upgraded because I'm loving some of the new features that I'll talk about here in a little bit. So if you fall into the camp of you don't own either of these and you're trying to figure out, should I get the discounted Nord Stage 3 or do I spend the extra money and get the Nord Stage 4? I'm guessing that the Nord Stage 4 is going to be kind of the standard as we get into the next few years around stage and live playing. Uh, but this is also a powerful keyboard for in the studio too. So as we look at that and you look at the price of the Nord Stage 4, it's it's pricey keyboard, I'll be honest. Uh, and you look at it like, hey, virtual instruments, I could get a whole collection of virtual instruments for that. So when you're playing strictly in the studio, you start to uh, maybe some of the more live geared capabilities aren't as attractive. So you have to balance all of that. Again, let's just jump in and talk about Nord Stage 3 versus Nord Stage 4. And I wanted to talk first about the key bed because while I've got two different variations here, I can speak to this a little bit. So the older Nord Stage 3 line had three variations, two weighted and a semi-weighted that I've got here. Great for organ playing, so if I bring my B3, make sure my rotary speaker's on, and I'll turn the Nord Stage 4. Just so you'll watch me, I'm turning the panels on and off. I have these two keyboards midied together just because I only have one sustain pedal right now. I've got the sustain pedal plugged into the Nord Stage 4, and I'm going MIDI out of the 4 into the 3, so that as I'm playing the 3, I can use the single sustain pedal. I'm not doing anything else with the MIDI, that's strictly the only reason, and I'll turn the panels on and off as we go uh, to kind of show you maybe differences between some of the sounds. While there's not a lot, most of it's on the capability side. So again, back to here, if we just take this B3, turn the, I like the sustain pedal on because um, sometimes I'll set the sustain pedal to actually do the slow and the fast of the Leslie. If not, I have to reach up and hit a button to do it. Same thing applies with the Nord Stage 4, unless with, again, with either one, the rotor pedal, uh, things like that you can plug in so you're not having to use your sustain pedal. But again, with only one pedal here, I'm using that for the sustain. So then I reach up and do the slow fast. <laughs> So really quick, this is the compact version of the Nord Stage 3, which has the semi-weighted waterfall style keys, which are great for doing those runs. It's very slidey. Whereas if we come over here on the Nord Stage 4, I have the Hammer Action 88. And really the differences in the key beds is the Nord Stage 4, again, has three variations, two weighted, one semi-weighted. But in the Nord Stage 4, they've added their triple sensor technology to all three key beds. So we have that on the Nord Stage 4 versus the older uh, key bed technology, maybe, for the Nord Stage 3. I honestly haven't really been able to hear a difference. So for me, that's not a big thing. But if we turn the organ on for the Nord Stage 4... <laughs> And for me, the hammer action on the Nord Stage 4 is light enough I'm able to do some of those organ-related playing things. And while it might kind of like rub my wrists a little bit more than the waterfall action, it's not a huge difference. And I found even for electric pianos and things like that on the Nord Stage 4.
it's quick enough and light enough that I'm able to kind of balance between piano, organ, synth, those types of things. I think with the two variations in front of me, while if I was strictly organ, I would go for the compact just for the waterfall keys, but being a little bit more of a mixed bag for in terms of sounds and stuff, I prefer having 88 keys and the actions light enough that it's, I still can get those dynamics on the pianos, but it gives me the, the flexibility to play some of those other non-piano sounds and not feel like I'm really having to push the keys hard. So I really like the key bed and that's all of, I can't really do a direct comparison between the hammer and the hammer because unfortunately I don't have two hammer action stages here. So that being said, let's talk about the control surfaces and some of the differences here and then get into functionality. So as you can see, the panels themselves don't look a ton different with the exception of maybe the effects section over here. So North Stage 3, you've got the extern section and then you have these individual effects slots that you can either apply to the organ section, the piano section, or the synth section. You can only do one at a time. So if I wanted to turn on the EQ, on this, I can either choose to have the EQ apply to the organ, piano, or synth by holding shift and tapping on this source button. I can't do all of them, so I have to choose which sound section I want these effect slots to apply to. So that goes for all of these except for the compression and the reverb, which apply to everything all the time. So that's the effects there, and you look over here on the layer effects, and now with the Nord Stage 4, I can have this entire panel of effects apply to the organ section, the piano section, or the individual two A and B piano layers, the whole synth section, or individually or independently on the A, B, and C layers. So theoretically, you can have one, two, three, four, five, six different effects engines controlling one single program on the Nord Stage 4. And this is probably the most powerful change they've made in the Nord Stage 4. There's a lot of subtle things, but to me, this it just expands the flexibility of being able to build sounds in the Nord Stage 4. So let's start on the left, now that I talked about the effects already, but let's start on the left. The knuckle and the wheel are the same on both of these. To me, this is the best design on a keyboard for pitch and modulation. Morphosign still works with the wheel, same exact functionality there. Uh, it just works so well for controlling uh, the different parameters from the wheel instead of having to reach up and tweak one or more parameters that I could assign all of them to the wheel. If we keep moving to the right, the master volume level and the rotary speaker are all the same, except they've added this angle, um, I guess, sub select on the stop mode button. So while I won't go into detail just for time's sake on um, all of the unique functionality in these on the Nord Stage 4, uh, they've added a little bit of extra functionality with the organ section. And then if we look at the organ section, we start to see some differences in how these panels have been laid out. So one big difference here is on the Nord Stage 3, to turn a section on, there's this zone select on off button. So we could turn all three of our sections, organ, piano, synth on, and we could play that. Let me just make sure that all my panels on my Nord Stage 4 are off. So that is all three sections. And then I could tweak these. I could bring my organ. And I could tweak my sounds that way. Um, if I wanted to layer, let's say, two pianos together, two synths together, two organs together, or I wanted to do six sounds total, two organs, two pianos, two synths. I can use the A and the B panel on the Nord Stage 3. So if I come over to the B panel, I can have a completely different organ, piano, and synth. And then the effects, again, apply in the same way to this layer or this panel. So I can have, maybe on my A layer, I can have the EQ on my piano. <laughs> bring a little drive in, and then I come over to my B panel and I can do an EQ on, let's say my synth section, bring that over, turn my synth section on. And what I can do is if I wanna layer those two panels together, I can press both of these panel buttons together. So 
you can build a powerful layer pretty quickly by using the A and the B panel. I can unlayer those and then switch between, so I can almost have uh, two different sounds here uh, and then save that as a program. So this whole thing can be saved as a program now. And then if I want to adjust volume levels for my piano layer on panel A, let's say, I can use this knob on the piano section. And so the main controls of the three sections are this main volume knob here, the zone select, which allows me to also select my split zones, my octave up and down and things like that. Now, if we come over to the Nord stage four, I still have all this layering capability, but I've lost my A and my B panel. I have these faders here for my different layers. So in the same way we have, let's say two piano layers, I've got one piano on panel A, and then I can have a different piano on panel B. Now on the Nord stage four, if I wanna turn a section on, I tap on this on off button on the section itself. And then I've got these two layers in the case of the piano right here. So I don't have to switch between two panels. I see everything right here. And then I have these two on off buttons here for my layer. So if I wanna layer these two piano layers together, I tap both of these together. And you'll notice now one of them is blinking. And this is my active layer on the Nord Stage 4. So let's say on the active layer, I've got this uh, electric piano here. Now let me turn my piano and my synth section off on the Nord Stage 3. <laughs> I guess that's the downside of midiing these two together. So now I've got these two layered, uh, electric piano on my A layer and a white grand. Let's bring that up an octave. And let's say I want to adjust the volume. Now, I don't have to jump between an A and a B layer to get to my volume for my other piano. I can just reach up here. So really quick now to adjust the volume of my layers. And if I wanna change a setting, again, I don't need to jump between two panels. I just change the active layer and let's maybe bring this to, um, and let's bring our piano to a soft timbre. Let's bring in some dynamic compression. And if we switch back, we can change some of the settings on our electric piano. Maybe I want to unlayer these two piano layers. I can hold down on the layer that I want to turn off. Boom, that layer's off. So I can do all of that from the section rather than needing to switch between two panels. Now that's really cool and it applies to the organ and the synth section as well. So I can come over, turn the synth section on come over, select my sounds, layer two together, layer three together, turn one of those layers off, adjust my volume. So I could also just bring my volume down instead of turning the layer off. Really depends on how you wanna use this. And then they've added this layer scene button. So if I come in, let's grab A11 here. And then we go to layer scene two. I can change my layer mute here. So maybe I wanna not have these layered together to start. And let's just bring in the uh, piano here. Layer scene two, I wanna have the electric piano. And now I can switch quickly between these two layers. So I can set up two variations of my program. And I do this with my live mode where I've got a synth sound. I've got a regular piano on this. And then my variation is a soft version of the grand. And I've turned the synth layers off for this variation. So one button, I can switch between my two variations of that program. So this same scenario over here on the Nord Stage 3, the way that I accomplish this 
uh, regular piano, soft piano, is I'll be playing my piano here, and I've got pretty heavy reverb on this. I've got my pad tied to my morpha sign on my wheel, which I could do over here. And then if I want soft, I just hit this timbre button here. And the problem is, now I want to go back to my other grand. I have to cycle through the timbres instead of just hitting one button. So I see the advantages of having a layer scene, so I can just use that to switch between uh, those the regular piano and the variation. There's other ways you could kind of do this with the panels, um, but this adds just a little bit of that extra live functionality to get those two variations. So organ section, let's jump back to that real quick and they've added this B3 bass on the organ here. So let me come in here. B3 bass. So that is new with the Nord Stage 4. You can work that into your sounds. Let's turn the organ section off. Now let's talk about the piano section here just really quickly. So on the Nord Stage 4, they've changed up the way that the unison works. So they had layer detune on the Nord Stage 3, and you'd use your two different layers and you'd detune those. On the Nord Stage 4, we don't have to do that anymore. We can set each layer to its own unison, which accomplishes the same sort of detuning effect, but it doesn't require you to take up both of your layers. Really cool there. And then dynamic compression. Let's go back to a grand. And dynamic compression doesn't t require us to take our compression slot from our effects, but it gives us that same ability to even out the quiet and the loud part. So dynamic compression is off here. The first setting is this, second, and third. You don't get any squashing like you might get with a compressor, but it brings up those, I'm playing this really lightly. And it's just bringing that volume up, which is really cool. I used this actually at my church the other weekend. And when I was playing the soft underneath the prayer, it allowed me to get some of those really cool dynamics in there. It's really nice. So I love having that here because again, you can leverage that on each of your layers on the piano independently to kind of just beef that sound up. So those are the changes there. From a sound perspective, if you're wondering, Nord has their sound library and the sound library for the Nord Stage 3 applies to the Nord Stage 4. And I, I'm not sure backwards compatibility, honestly, on the synth section because they've upgraded the synth section on the Nord Stage 4. So I'll be researching this a little bit more between the compatibility of the synth sounds on the Nord Stage 3 and the Nord Stage 4. So stay tuned for that. But let's talk about the center of the keyboard here real quick. So there's a little bit of change that's gone on here, as you can see from here. No longer do we have song mode on the Nord Stage 4. We had that on the Nord Stage 3. That one I didn't ever use, but I know a lot of people use that. They've made it a little easier to organize your programs and assign your programs to these eight buttons here. So theoretically, you can kind of mimic the same functionality by taking one of your banks and building that and then using the bank up and down buttons to switch between uh, your different sets of eight. So you can kind of mimic that, but again, it's not the same. Uh, and I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed about that if you use song mode. They do have live mode still. And instead of five live mode buttons, there's the eight. You can also use those as number pads to quickly select by holding shift number pad. And now these function as the numbers one through eight. So kind of cool there. I haven't actually ever used that because I'm just used to finding sounds and stuff there. Um, the layer scene, obviously, and you can set that from a pedal. So you can actually have a pedal switch your two variations of your programs. We have this preset library. So this is new with the Nord Stage 4 previously. And I did a whole separate video talking about the functionality. But from just kind of a high level on the Nord Stage line, 
Programs are your collection of sounds, your layers, your splits, all get saved as a single program. That program is made up of your different sounds from the different sections. And so your organ section has your organ sounds, piano, synth, you get the gist. All that gets saved as a single program. So what they've done with preset library on the North Stage 4 real quick is they allow you to save a complete section. So I build a synth sound with my three layers, my different effects. I can save that instead of as a independent program, I can save that as a preset. And then if I'm building a new program with some piano and I want to bring in that synth sound, I can just go to my synth preset library, go to my user preset for the synth sound I built and bring that right in. And I've got that really quickly. So nice that they've added that. I really like having the ability to kind of save settings by a section perspective, uh, which you couldn't do in the Nord Stage 3. Now a couple other changes here. They've moved the encoder to the left of the screen and they've added this section here. So you can use solo to solo your different layers. So it's helpful when you're building a sound uh, to be able to solo the active layer and just play that particular sound. You can switch between your layers while you're in solo. So I've been using that a lot actually on the Nord Stage 4. You can also kind of initialize things by holding shift and tapping on this section edit layer and knit and you can either initialize one of your sections or all and it brings you back to kind of a blank slate with the white grand. And then you can build a sound from there or program from there. So that's kind of some of the differences here on the main screen. While I'm talking about this, I wanted to highlight a couple of things here. Let me grab just a program here. One thing they've changed is when you turned a section off while you're playing it, you turn it off and it instantly kills a sound. Now with the Nord Stage 4, if I do that same thing, let's grab that same Royal Grand 3D, and I turn the section off, it lets my sound ring, which is really helpful when you're playing live. And I want to switch from having maybe my piano and my synth to only my synth. Previously, it would just cut the piano and I would have to kind of just keep that in mind as I turned the piano section off. I would end up bringing the volume down instead of killing the layer. Now I can come in here and I can just turn the section right off and continue playing my synth without affecting my piano sound. I want to just continue and ring. So I love that little tweak in functionality there that they made. Now over on the synth section, they beefed up the arpeggiator on the Nord Stage 4. Obviously they added that third layer. And let's talk about the extern section here for a second. A lot of people are like, where did it go? So what they did is they allow you now to turn uh, one or more of your synth layers into its own extern section. So I think I hit the wrong button there, but uh, hold shift and you tap on this mode button to extern and now it's turned this synth layer into the extern section. So accomplishes the same thing um, and it does take one of your synth slots but in the end I guess you end up in the same spot as the Nord Stage 3 with two synths. So uh, kind of take that for what you will on that section there. We can go into the extern menu. We've got the menu here for the different settings. Now one other thing that I wanted to highlight here is this aux KB function. I can come in here and turn aux keyboard on it. Essentially what this allows me to do is to take an external keyboard, let's say just the Nord Stage 3, connect that and then allow that to explicitly control one of my layers or one of my sections. So as you can see, if I flip to page two, on my organ, I could set it to layer A, B, or both A and B. Same with the piano and same with the synth. And if I come into my MIDI settings, I can actually set the MIDI channel that the aux keyboard would be coming in on. So you can plug MIDI in and then I can control one or more of my layers explicitly from an external keyboard. Really cool because let's say I've got a synth sound and I wanna have the guitarist with a little keyboard controller. I can have him set up on a layer and just let him run that little synth sound over there and then I can play the rest of the keyboard here with my other layer. So 
Kind of a really cool added functionality that they've done there. Uh, let's just touch back again on the effects because that is one of the big differences here. So now your compression, your reverb are independent per layer or section rather than global across the whole keyboard. And then all of your other effects, delay, mod one, mod two, your amp sim and EQ can also be independently per layer and per section. So you'll see some new ones like pump, spin, cathedral, spring, booth. They've added quite a few new effects here. And let's just, I'll show you a couple of things here with the effects. So let's take the reverb and let's bring a piano sound in here. Let's go with the Royal Grand 3D. And let's bring our reverb all the way to 100% wet. You can still hear the piano sound behind there. turn that off. Let's bring the same piano sound here and let's grab our reverb again. Here we go. And let's bring that all the way to wet. So now on the Nord Stage 4, you can do 100% wet. Whereas on the Nord Stage 3, it really wasn't 100% wet. So the difference here, same piano sound, the, uh, I'll grab the stage, yeah, it was the stage reverb on the Nord Stage 3. So same reverb, 100% wet, 100% wet. This is the Nord Stage 4 with the actual 100% wet reverb. And then on the Nord Stage 3. So you can see the difference there is the piano is still prominent even though I'm 100% wet on the reverb. So little nuances, but it allows me to do some cool things when I'm layering pianos together and gives me that just kind of added flexibility. We also have this bright dark function on the reverb. So let me just play you a sample of that. That is something new with the Nord Stage 4. So then I go to dark. And then bright. And then normal. So this gives me the ability to have the reverb, but only either the high or the low frequencies of that reverb. It's really nice. And I've been using that actually as I've built my sounds on my piano and my synth to give just a little bit more depth to the sound. Now, a couple other things here, they've added cathedral reverb and almost like a cloud delay type reverb on here. So this is a cathedral. I'm gonna bring that down to maybe 3.5. So that's beautiful, but check this out. So when you hold shift and you tap on this same button here for the type, on any one of these effects, they've added a variation to each of the effects, which just, it, it's more than doubled the effects within the Nord Stage 4 because they've added new effects plus all the variations. So just the amount of effects here, I have spent so much time just messing around with this, but essentially when you press shift, it turns the variation for whichever one you have selected. So I'm on Cathedral, I hit the variation. Now this is my cloud reverb or my cloud delay. just fantastic. I, when I heard that they added cloud reverb, I just, I was blown away. I've already been using it as I've played live and in church, it's just gives this just depth and atmospheric sound to the synths and things like that. Absolutely amazing. They've added spring and booth reverbs as well. Variations to those. It's just the effects capabilities here are insane. And with this effects follow, 
when that's turned on, no matter what layer I hit, it switches my effects to that layer. So I can come in here and you'll notice, and I explained this in another video I have on the Nord Stage 4, the detailed review. I go in a bit more detail, but you can choose whether the layer effects apply to your whole layer, or if you hold shift and you tap on this section button, then you can control the effects independently for that layer. I'll have more videos where I go in depth on the arpeggiator. So the difference is there is they've added the ability to do poly arpeggiation. Um, so if I come in here, um, that's actually on my synth sound. Let me just turn my piano off. So this is the traditional arpeggiator where it cycles through Let's say I'm playing the three notes. North stage three was the same way. You could do those cycles. But now I can come in here and do poly. And it uh, takes the whole chord I'm playing and it arpeggiates that chord. And then on top of that, they've added the patterns, which we didn't have in the North stage three. And I can come in here to my pattern presets. And you'll see as I play, it's moving through that and I can switch presets. And then I can go in and modify all of these parameter settings here, right from the screen really easily, um, just with, I mean, it's the way they've laid it out is very intuitive. Um, and I'll do a separate video on the whole arpeggiator functionality. I wanted to show you one more thing here in the synth section. So let me turn the arpeggiator off. They've changed up the way that you access the sample library. So on the Nord stage three, if I turn the synth section on, you could choose between user and sample. So user were all of your user presets. Now those are over here in the synth preset library on the Nord stage four. So that's a little different, but as you're building your sounds, if I go to uh, hold shift and tap on sample, now I can choose a sample. And then you can scroll through those here. You can also hold shift and scroll. And I don't know how well you can see that, but maybe we take our steel guitar. Now on the Nord stage four, to get to that same place, we have these categories. You'll notice the mode is either samples or analog. When we're on samples, we have categories that we can go between. We come over to guitar plucked. Maybe we wanna run that through an amp. It's just, I don't know, the way that this is just set up and put together and the thought that went behind everything is just really crazy. So over here, we've got 18 different samples under our guitar pluck section or category and go through all the different categories. And again, the sample library on the Nord website, you can go and download. They have a bunch of different samples. So you can download those with the Nord Sound Manager and bring those onto the keyboard, same as you could with the Nord Stage 3. So hopefully that gives you an idea of some of the differences. As I play this and as I learn a bit more, I'm probably gonna find even more little new features that they've added into the Nord Stage 4. But for now, those are the big differences. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions around the Nord Stage 3, the Nord Stage 4. If I miss something, I'll throw that in the description below. Uh, as I continue to dig deeper into the Nord Stage 4. Uh, but again, let me know if you have any questions with this. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful as you try to make your decision of whether you upgrade or whether you buy the Nord Stage 4. So hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.